This is a new Hater Harrier lawnmower. This one is a rear roller one. It's a 56 centimeter cup, petrol driven, with electric start. I'm now going to run through some of the features it has and also what it comes with and basic operating instructions. First of all, we'll start with the paperwork as in the instruction manual and all the rest of the stuff. So here it is, Hater instruction manual, A4 size sheet folder, and it's full of notes and stuff like that, even service stamps where you can get it done. Very easy to read, very easy to understand. There's spaces here to have the dealer stamp to keep your warranty all up to date. Next one we get is the engine brakes from Briggs and Stratton operator's manual in loads of different languages, English. I'm not sure the rest of them. I don't think. I think I, I'm gonna have a guess and say um, Danish, German. Not sure Italian, Netherlands, and other languages as well. All in different languages, but basically gives you the functions and how to use, maintain your Briggs and Stratton engine. <clears throat> Next it comes with a EU declaration of conformity, <coughs> noise levels and stuff like that, legal paperwork I suppose, I don't really know, I don't pay much attention to that really I'm afraid. Uh, the one I do is a very handy piece, it's an A4 sheet of paper and it's a spare part list, Hey, to Harry a spare part list, identifies all the parts that you need, tells you what they are. So in other words, if you're not sure what part it, it is, you look to what's broken. Follow it, say, for example, that one, my 41, 41, and follow it on here. If it'll zoom in enough, 41, it'll give you 41, knob handle work. Follow it along to the part number, and that's what you need to order, if it's broken, lost, or whatever. Okay, it's also good as the other side. You've got the handlebar set up. Then got the engine mounting sort of stuff and the blades. And on the other side, you've then got the grass box and wheels and all the rest of it. These private mowers from Hater do come with a five year warranty, providing that you have them regularly serviced or annually serviced at your local Hater dealer. Um, so this part box, this part list shouldn't be that important at the moment but it's worth keeping for when <laughs> it's out of warranty then i'm now going to go through some of the features the mower has and functions and stuff <clears throat> so first of all we'll look underneath again be careful if you do this if you're ever going to do it mind your hands look underneath at the back you can see the roller i'll try and twist it so you can see it split see how it's one moves and one doesn't. That makes it far easier to turn. Especially if you're doing tight turns and stuff. Lift the front wheels up slightly. Not this high, but ever so slightly off the ground. And put the weight on the big roller at the back. And it's easy enough to spin around. Um, it also comes with... I'll try and point it out without losing my fingers. or squashing them. These flick, flick up bits here. They actually flick the grass into the grass box. <coughs> And this one comes with a friction disc blade, which actually means that it's not going to um, break the bend the uh, crankshaft to the engine if you do hit a solid object like a curb stone or tree root. <laughs> so it should save it. Um, so that's it. That's as far as that goes. I'll lower it down gently. This here is the air filter, nice and easy to get to and change or clean out after using industrial operations. This is your fuel filler, put your petrol in there, that's your oil, quick twist. You can see the gauge, clearly marked. <clears throat> I 
This is your battery for the electric start. I'll deal with that later. Further on in this video. Here now you can see the deck wash. Plug your hose into that. Start the mower. Turn the water on. Start the mower. And it'll clean underneath the blade, underneath the deck for you. This deck is made of aluminium. So it won't rot or rust. It's nice and lightweight as well. And here we've got some stickers. We've got Wyvern Garden Machinery, Shrewsbury, which is where I bought it from. Next we then got the Hater, Hater sticker. And then we've got the Made in Britain sticker. Nice to see, being British that I am. And an aluminium lifetime deck warranty, which is brilliant. Good news. Next we come to the grass box. This used to have to be, you couldn't get it through the handlebars, but now you can quite easily. I can do this single-handedly and with a camera, <laughs> just to prove it. There we go, nice and lightweight and easy. There we go back on again. Before, to get it out that thing, you'd have to put it on the floor and then reach again through the handlebars that way. But this one will go to the handlebars. Easy. Nice and easy, lock. <laughs> Always good to see. Now it comes to the hand controls on the handlebar. This one is your dead man switch. Pull it towards you. Keeps the engine running. Loose scope and the engine stops. You can either loose go quickly in an emergency or as I prefer and would recommend when you get to when you don't want to you stop it when you want to stop the engine to empty the grass box you should go gently. This is your variable speed sensor speed this bar here and stationary position as far as it'll go out towards you it's stopped and then as you go along, you can speed it up to go faster and faster. Push it closer to the handlebars or away from you, and the faster you'll go. This is your single piece, single lever cutting height, height of cut, height of cut adjustment. You don't need one there, one on one with individual wheels. You've got them all in one nice, easy to get to lever function for the whole frame, as you can see. We'll raise it up and lower it down. There we go. This plastic bit around here is all new. It's designed so you can actually get change the belts a bit quicker. And also here as well. Um, it was easy to change the belts and stuff should they break or have come off or anything like that. There's your exhaust there. This is your battery. And we'll deal with that now. This is the lithium ion battery. Press those two grey buttons there to disconnect and waggle it out. Take it with you to the charging station which I've already got over here. Still got it with me. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this single-handedly just to prove it works. Make sure it's disconnected from the mains first. Slide it in. That's it, I've done it single-handedly. Got the power socket. Plug it in. And switch on and this is what will happen. The red light just turned up there, um, and that makes, signifies it's charging. <laughs> when it's finished charging, the light here will go green. It doesn't take long to charge up, to be fair. Um, I'm going to leave that charge at the moment, go through the rest of the functions with the mower. When it comes to disconnect it, taking the battery off, as before, do exactly the opposite. Switch it off first from your socket, and then take it, then slide this out. I have now got the mower inside because it started to rain. 
isn't that just typical when you're doing a video um, you should never start a mower indoors and I'm not going to I'm just going to go through the starting procedure this will not start because the battery is no longer there there is no hand start on this one you rely totally on the on the battery to be charged up can be a good thing can be a bad thing it would be nice to have a sort of secondary pull start just in case but it's one of those things I prefer the electric start so to go through the starting procedure it's as follows assuming you've got the battery on charge and your mower's ready to go and not inside that's illegal taken care of <laughs> pull the dead man lever back which is to the handlebars Live, raise the lawnmower slightly off the ground the front of it and then press the blue button just press it in it'll start as soon as the engine starts loose go and then put then lower the grass then lower the mower down on the ground gently when you do start the mower raise the front of it up slightly off the ground it's easy enough to do with two hands <laughs> one with the phone in <laughs> And when you stop as well, do it as well, just before you stop. That way, it stops circles in your lawn. <laughs> and when you put loose the ground, when you loose the mower down to the ground, don't just drop it like that, otherwise you will get circles in your lawn. From the blade spinning around, just do it gently, and that's it. Nice and gently. Saves having circles in your lawn. Also saves clogging up the blades just before you switch them off as well. Now, this machine is now running. I know you can't hear, but we're just imagining now. We've just gone through the starting procedure. And to, to move it now, as in with the, with the blades running, you can then press this green button here, this green lever, and that'll start moving the mower forward. The, faster, the closer to the handlebars it is, the faster it goes. It's not running speed, so don't worry about that. <laughs> and pull it to like that, let it go back. And that will go back to stationary. So the mower, will, the engine will still be running, the blades will still be turning, but the mower won't be moving. So you can actually stop and talk to somebody if, you know, if necessary. This one does not come with a brake brake blade clutch BBC, they call it by Hater. It's where the you can keep the engine running, but the blades stop. Handy if you've got a lot of places to take it to on tarmac before you get to your cutting area. Um, it's also handy as well if you've got a lot of grass to empty out and you don't want to keep on stopping and starting and pull starting the mower every time you empty the grass box because you just press a button on the side and it stops the blades but it keeps the engine running. Um, I've not gone for that option, I went for the electric start. At the moment, Hater don't do that option with the electric start, uh, but you never know, they might do <laughs> soon or in the future. So that's my opera, that's the operating guide for the Hater. Hope it helps. If you like it, if found it helpful, drop us a like. If you want to hit subscribe, because you've got nothing better to watch, then by all means do. Um, thank you to Hater for the supply of the machine. I have paid for it. Thank you to Wyvern Garden Machinery of Shrewsbury for who supplied it um, and for delivering it to me. And take care all. Thanks again. I will soon give you uh, another video of it in operation. Until then, take care all. Bye bye.